In this video, I'll introduce you to the panel-based interface of PCSwim. As you can see, PCSwim is comprised of a number of panels. We have the project panel on the left, the attribute panel on the right. These are permanent panels locked in place. And we have the map panel in the middle. And you can see there's a number of tabs to indicate that there's other panels that have been tabbed with the map panel. When you're in a Swim 5 project, the project panel gives you access to various editors in the Swim 5 project, for example, the simulation options, and so on and so forth. Each panel has its own dedicated toolbar, and the commands and various tools that are available that are specific to that panel are available on that toolbar. If the toolbar doesn't have a dedicated button for that tool or command, it can be found under the menu command. The tools that are available can be configured to provide additional information for new users or streamlined for experienced users. These panels interact together. So for example, if I was to choose a location in our map panel, we see the attributes for that location appear in the attributes panel. And similarly, if I go to the profile panel and choose a conduit from the profile panel, I can see the attributes for that conduit appear in the attributes panel and I can click on the graph to graph the time series for that conduit and it gets displayed in the graph panel. Now these panels can be rearranged according to your workflow. So for example, I can take the table panel and detach it from its dock position and have it floating. I could dock this in a secondary monitor or I can dock it with the existing main interface of PC Swim. So for example, let me take the map panel and I'll dock this to the left of the graph. Now this may be convenient for some actions in PC Swim. So I can save this panel layout by going to the backstage and going down to layouts and defining a user defined layout. The backstage also provides access to my recent projects gives me the ability to create new types of projects and manage my existing projects including renaming projects, moving projects, and deleting projects. I can also import data whether it's GIS or CAD data or time series data and I can print my various graphs and profiles and plots and plan views. I can package up my project. I can create submodels and export data and I can access the various sources of help. In addition, the backstage gives me access to advanced features such as flood analysis to the 2D components and the automated reporting tools. For more information, please visit www.chiwater.com.